Hi, my name is Hannah Jane, and I'm the culture editor at the Reykjavik Grapevine. So you might have seen me a few weeks ago with a special curated Valentine's Day box. And as the resident yummy mummy influencer of the office, I'm so excited to present another box, this time for Easter. Now I'm Jewish, so I actually don't know a whole lot about Easter, uh, but I've been told it's when this guy Jesus, a very famous Jew actually, uh, rose from the dead. Um, and that means that we get to eat a lot of chocolate. So big fan, big fan of this holiday. Um, and I'm very excited about what I've put together, um, so let's dive in. So obviously the first thing is our most recent issue. It's about a volcano. If you haven't heard, the volcano exploded. Check it out safely. Um, or if you're from abroad, I'm sure there's lots. We have tons of videos on our YouTube page, um, which you can watch and pretend you're there. But anyway, so let's get into the box. So the first thing we have is the Grumpy Whale Hot Chocolate. Now, we sort of just started selling this in our store, and I only tried this for the first time last week, but I love hot chocolate. Like, I actually drink hot chocolate every night, usually Swiss Mix, which doesn't sponsor us, so I don't even want to mention them. But what I'm trying to say is that I think this is better. It's also locally made in Reykjavik by a woman who I believe is named Becca. She used to be a scuba diving instructor, um, and during COVID, she started this company, and um, it's been great. Now... Something I've noticed living in Europe is that Europeans tend to add like hot milk or cream to their hot chocolate, which in my mind creates some sort of like over the top, like it's just so much flavor and it's, it's way too much. But this, so I chose the one that you're supposed to add hot water to, um, which makes it sweet and light and it's a good, you know, dessert that's not going to make you feel super sick after. So I'm a big fan and I'm, I'm very excited that once again, I get to keep this. <laughs> So that's our first thing, Grumpy Whale Hot Chocolate, um, again. Also, it's a massive amount. This is 300 grams, that's a lot. Um, so I'm gonna put that here. Next thing we have, if you saw our last video, my last video, you know that I had a soap from a brand called Earth. Earth. Um, I'm totally obsessed with this brand. I love their soaps, I love their diffusers, and I love their bath bombs. Um, so for this, I chose a different soap by them. It's actually a lavender and patchouli soap. And it's like, I don't know if this is like their official description, but it's like very much a shower soap. Um, and it, you know it's a shower soap because it has this like th string that I hang in the shower. And then you take it um, and you know, uh, you can also like hit people with it. Um, which we don't recommend, because I think that's like what they do in jail or something. But anyway, oh, it smells so nice. And it's very spring, a very spring smell, ugh, a very spring smell. So I think it's good for Easter, which I believe is also supposed to herald the arrival of spring. Unsure if that's true, but um, I will speak on behalf of my ancestors, the famous Jew Jesus, um, on, on what the holiday is supposed to bring. So. This is the second product, a really nice soap. Again, I fucking love this brand. Please sponsor me. So that's gonna go right here. The next thing we have, um, uh, if you, oops, something fell. But anyway, next thing we have, if you know the grapevine, you know that we are absolutely, we absolutely love Om Nom, which is a local chocolate brand that does super artisanal, fancy chocolates that are really, really mind blowing. Um, and they have a special Easter chocolate. It's Mr. Carrot's Mango Passion Milk Chocolate Almonds. Um, I can't eat them right now because I'm going to the dentist, but they're really, really good. Um, and it's like mango and passion fruit flavor. I'm gonna open the box and show you a little bit if I can figure out how to do that. So far, that's not going well. I think there's a sticker here. I think it's a slide out box. Yeah, there we go. Oops, I broke it. Just pretend I didn't do that. And then it says, it has like a little bunny and it says, rip it open. So I'm gonna do what they say. And that's what it looks like. Um, so I like, um, it's funny because I actually hate almonds, but I only, I love them if they're covered in chocolate or sugar. I think that really adds something. Um, so this is my preferred way to eat almonds. And I think it really should be anyone's. So that's like our second chocolate delight of the package. The first being the hot chocolate, second being Om Nom. So I'm gonna put that here. We have like a very limited number of the Om Noms, by the way. So like pick them up quick because they're not gonna make them again. This is like, 
exclusive for Easter kind of vibe. So next up, we have like, a, again, I always believe that every package needs something, you know, intellectual in it. You need a book. You need to stimulate your mind. We're watching too much TV. We, I'm sure we all just watched a four hour long cut of a movie we had already seen this week, which was fantastic, by the way. My review for Zack Snyder's Justice League will be up later this week, shot at the volcano. No, it won't. But anyway, I chose for this issue, Loa Lin Hyantishtotir's Why Are We Still Here? You might know her from her Instagram page, Loa Batorium, which you need to check out. She's a comic artist who has worked with the grapevine um, for many, many years. She also has the office like right next door, so I often go into her office and bother her. So this is a book that's very close to my heart because she's like, she's like a lovely human being. Oh, that didn't go as well as I thought, okay. She's like a lovely human being. And basically this is sort of like Icelandic culture told via funny comics and they're hysterical. And she's just like, really like gets, you know, like she really gets the vibe. Like, I don't know, she's just hysterical. Like check out her Instagram, but this book is, it's just like the book that keeps on giving. Um, like this one, The Best of Tourist. And, um, the, you know, here's some tourists that you might like. The Loud Pensionist, and it's a man, and he's like, John, how do you lock this car? John, John. And then uh, The Pony Enthusiast, and it's some girl freaking out of her horses. We all know those types of girls. Yeah, it's very funny. Um, you need to check it out. I, I love her. She's the loveliest person. She's hysterical. She's super talented. And she works right there. So if you want to stalk her, look up her address. Don't do that. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. Bad joke. Anyway, so that's our book of this. I also thought it was a good thing for Easter because it's like fun and lighthearted. And that's the vibe I get from this holiday. Again, Jewish, somewhat unsure. So our next product, we're kind of getting into some big stuff. This is like the one of the big things of this package. And it's a, a little bunny pyro pet. So if you don't know what a pyro pet is, it's Icelandic design. Um, I always fucking forget the name of the girl who designs them. So I deeply apologize to her. But they are candles that you can either leave them in their candle form or when they melt, they kind of make this creepy skeleton kind of thing. I actually have one in my room. I have a kitty cat. Oh God, okay, we're just gonna put this down. So yeah, I have one in my room. I have like a pink kitty cat and it's really cute. And they're very much like something you would buy someone as a gift here. Like uh, I've bought in like the little owl ones for my friends. They're sort of a thing that everybody likes because they are super cute. Um, oh, it comes with a little note thanking me for, for buying it, you know. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what the candle looks like. This is the bunny because once again, Bunnies are, are somewhat related to Easter. They lay eggs. They lay eggs, which is what I've been told, you know. So this is the candle. Um, it's so cute. I love, like, tchotchkes. Uh, and this is, like, the, the candles are the best type of tchotchke because they are useful. And this is so cute. And it's a bunny. And it's very, like modular, and we should all celebrate and support Icelandic design always. Um, there's just so many good designers here, and this is one of the most celebrated ones, and I'm just so excited that we get to have it in this um, because it's real legit, and it's really cute. So I'm putting that here next to everything so you can look at it. So cute. So we have two things left. This, we put it in a little bit of weird packaging right now, but if you've seen my last video, um, which we filmed in Pastel Flower Shop and Mikado Design Studio, you know that I love pastel flowers. Um, it's a very like uh, natural, primal flower shop that does these really, really gorgeous bouquets of dried flowers, um, and I really, really love them. So once again, we are featuring them. That said, they have done for, oh my God, I already broke this earlier, so I'm trying to fix it without, uh, whatever, I broke it. So. I broke the packaging, not the flowers, but anyway. So once again, we have a dried flower bouquet in this, except this time it is like Easter themed, like it's in very bright spring colors. And I think like, to be honest, this month is probably a very difficult time for all of us. We're sort of hopefully approaching the end of the pandemic, but I know spirits are down. So I think it's really important that we all get a little bit of color into our lives and a little bit of happiness. And 
flowers historically are a way to do that. Um, and dried flowers last forever. I mean, obviously not forever, but like probably for, for like most of your lifetime in some way, I don't know. But anyway, these are, again, it's like a spring bunch. Uh, they're really, really cute. I'm gonna take them out a little bit more of the packaging, which I already ruined. Ugh, it makes me wanna go to a wedding, right? It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, doesn't it make you think like a boudelineer or whatever the hell it's called, or a corsage, I don't know, or a little bouquet if you had more of them? So hire the Grapevine Wedding Service, Wedding Planning Service, which is me. So that's one thing, the pastel bouquet, obligatory pastel bouquet, which I'm just gonna lay down on the book. Now our last thing, oops, um, well, this is not gonna work. Our last thing, if you've ever uh, experienced Easter in Iceland, you know about uh, uh, like these Pauska, which is uh, Easter in Icelandic, you know about the eggs. Now I know uh, they sell chocolate eggs all over the world for Easter, but these are like the most Icelandic thing you can imagine. Like it's as Icelandic as Pulsur or as Icelandic as uh, Björk, you know, it's just like, a stable here. And basically they're chocolate eggs and if you break them open, they have like little other candies inside. And most importantly, they have a fortune, which is the most important part. I fucking love these. Um, I've actually broken a few in our storeroom just so I can eat them. Um, don't tell my boss. He's not gonna watch this video, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not good at opening, uh, let's just break it. So basically you have this cute little milk chocolate egg and it has a hole in the back. And then you, um, fuck it. Mm. Eventually you'll, there's all these little candies in it, you know, chocolate. But you find this, I'm on camera talking with my mouth full. I'm so sorry, mom. Give me a second. Okay, that's fine. If there's chocolate on my teeth, you know, shit happens, whatever. So we have the little little scroll that comes with the Easter egg and it has a nice fortune. Oh, that's so personal to me. I would share it with you, but this really hit hit home. And that's like one of the magic of these eggs. Like there's, you know, a lot of spiritual, uh, it has a real spiritual prowess. I can really sense the type of thing you need to hear today. So, you know, I'm tearing up. But anyway, so that's the last thing. Icelandic, ugh, so good. Um, I have no self-control. So that's the last thing. I'm gonna put it over here. So to finish the box, we have the Grumpy Whale Hot Chocolate, which is really fantastic for your first treat. And you have that, your hot chocolate, with a little side of the Om Nom Mango Passion Milk Chocolate Almonds. And uh, at the same time, you also, no, no, you save the chocolate egg for later. So you're eating these, you're reading your book by Loa, a comic artist, amazing. Uh, you're burning a little pyro pet, or you're just admiring it, because you don't want to, you know, ruin the design. Uh, and in the table in front of you as like a nice little piece of decoration, you have your little bouquet. So when someone walks in and like snaps a candid, you're just like, oh, this is my life. I live like this. And at the same time, and then after that, obviously, you take a bath with your soap and then you eat the chocolate in the bath, but you don't drop it in the water because then it gets kind of nasty, right? Um, so yeah, that's this box. I really love doing this box. It's, these boxes is so much fun. Um, and I hope you uh, enjoy, enjoy them too if you pick one up. Uh, they're, it's like a really fucking good selection, at least I think. So yeah, happy Easter. Um, celebration of one of my relatives, a very famous Jew, Jesus. I wouldn't say we're necessarily super proud of him, but like what I always say is if you're gonna succeed, go all the way. And he went all the way. And I just offended a lot of people with a bad joke, and I'm sorry. Fuck. Anyway, no. Happy Easter. I hope you like this. And remember to 
like and subscribe to our channel. Join our High Five Club if you want to see more content uh, from you know from us on all mediums. And we also have a newsletter that we're working really hard on, so check that out too. And if you have any suggestions of products you want to see in our store or maybe like themed boxes you want to see for obscure holidays, email grapevine at grapevine.is. Thank you so much for watching. Something I forgot to mention um, is that we have free shipping on this box with the code Hannah Easter. I think I could be wrong, but it'll say in the description of the box on our store in the link in our description. So we have free shipping because we believe it is your human right to have a nice Easter. Thank you.